what's your take on 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 the um concept or the or the, not even the concept just the, the 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 natural order of deliberate parenting well i think that we're in a generation where you you had spoke you had said something that um like for instance you're talking about you know you intentionally do things for your children um and you are sure people don't understand that spoiling your children is not necessarily giving them the things that they want It's giving them the things that they need. Because yeah. later on, when you were talking about our, what our job is, and we can move down to that, you know, what our actual job is as parents and people think that spoiling, giving them, Oh, Oh, you want this, you want this. Let me go get it. Let me go work for it. So we're constantly working and hustling and making all this money to give, 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 give. And the child doesn't even know what a need is. Exactly. Until they leave, <laughs> until they leave, if they leave. So, no, I think that um, it, it and it doesn't matter. I mean, yes, we need to understand this in the black culture and, and it, but it's every culture. Just as parents, I feel like the, that we've dropped the ball. So if you're correct in saying that this happened in the 80s, that makes perfect sense because those 80s babies are me. They're you. I mean, I was born in the 70s. But if this happened in the 80s, that's why we're spoiling our children, because that's what we were taught to do. So what we have to do is break the chain. We have to stop the cycle. We have to we have to take our children to the farm, not, you know, hey, we want you to live here, but show them what, you know, do you know what it takes to make a hundred dollars? Do do children know? Because they're real quick to say, hey, I need a hundred dollars. You know, I mean, you know, you know, you know that I hustle. I'm going to, you know, make the websites. I do the DoorDash. I mean, whatever. I know what it takes to make $100. So to just have some, you know, have a child make me feel bad that I don't have the $100. You know, say, I say what? Why don't we make the $100? I will tell you how. And then you can do it. Uh -huh. That's actually spoiling a child. What they don't do in school is they don't tell us how to be an entrepreneur. They don't tell us how to start our own business, how to be the one percent. What they do is they just tell us how to get in debt. So while we're go get more school loans, go do this, go do that, better education. But as as parents, we're doing the exact same thing because we're not showing them the way. We're just getting them there. So then when we back away or we're gone, are they where are they going to go? Exactly. Exactly. This is and that's the, the 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 deliberate part that um we have to be, you know. I think back in in this in this funny tip because, you know, I, I'm talking to a lot of different people and you know, I'm talking to people that are still raising like little ones and everything. And I'm like, you know, I you know time really flies and and when you make it through, you know, 25, 26, you know, 30 years of raising kids, you know, 30 plus years of raising kids, you know. You tend to forget that that you know had you not made these decisions up front, you know these adults wouldn't be functional today, you know. Or mm -hmm. or you know when you made a decision to you know no, you know at times I remember I remember back when I would um I would walk twelve blocks to the bus stop, catch the bus <laughs> downtown. Go to work, go to two jobs, work two jobs, get off that night, catch the bus, you know, um, um, you know, two, two, well, it was multiple buses. It wasn't never just one bus. It was, you know, catch the bus downtown and then catch the bus right. from downtown to where I was going and then back and then, you know, then, you know, back to the spot and maybe, you know, catch a cab or whatever and walk 12 blocks oh, back. Wow. I'm like, and when I, when I look back at what I was doing, I'm like, like, wow, that was a lot, you know. But, but you had driving, to do it. I had to do it, and what was driving me was it wasn't a negotiable for me. It wasn't an option because I'm like, I got to, you know, I got to take care of my, you know, to my son. I got to take care of my child. I got to take you, you know. It was, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a negotiable for me. So it was, you know, I wasn't, I never belly ached once about it. But when I look back at it, I'm like, I'm like. I guess there was a lot of some, but so that that very deliberateness, you know, about about raising children. And then, you know, when me and my wife got married, you know, she had three kids and I had one. And so we now we have four, you know, mm -hmm. now we have four. And, you know, what even 
taught me more about being a deliberate parent was when you're being a a, a step parent, and now you got to you you're choosing to deliberately on purpose because now you have to because like it's, it's one thing when when it's your child when it's your mm-hmm. child you, you know that you have biologically, but when you when you accept other children to raise and you take them in, you know you're making you're making a conscious decision like now when when it was yours, you know you know you you had yours. You know, mm-hmm. but when you choose these ones, you get to meet them when they're like, like bigger. And, and you right. know, they're like, you know, they're like already talking and walking. You know, you didn't teach them that part. So they already got, you know, some ideas about something, but they're still children. And now you got to walk in and become a part of a child's life that has to choose you as well. And it's like, mm-hmm. oh, wow. So now you have to be extra deliberate about, you know, the parenting process. And then you're blending the families. And I mean, if I hadn't been, you know, this is one thing I thank God for making my brain the way he's made my brain and, you know, making me so intentional and deliberate about things because I just kind of have to, because this is kind of the way my brain works. You know, I had to make sure, you know, you know, I, when I, it was, it was funny when I, when I, you know, when I looked at the, you know, the babies, you know, when they were babies and everything and, 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 and I'm like, I can see they're, they're so defenseless. You know, you have to, you know, this is, I, I said, I can't see how people hurt these, how people hurt these right. babies, you know, but, you know, then, then once, once, you know, you've worked, you know, 20 hours straight and they're crying and you don't, they can't talk to you. And it's like, so what's wrong? I'm like, oh, this is how people hurt babies. But, you know, I got to make sure I never, I, you know, and I, and I looked at, make sure nothing never hurts you, no matter how I'm feeling. You know, so it was, a, it was a decision. It's like, this mm-hmm. is this is where people snap. And this is where people break at. But it's not your fault. You don't know why you're hurting and crying. You know, let me try to fix what, you know, even though I'm dead on my feet, even though I'm dead on my feet and, and you know, I have no, you know, but it's the intentionality, you know, the intentionality and what, what people, you know, struggle with more now today than ever is being intentional because once by the time it was just natural, you know, you just, did what you had to do because you had to do it. Now, you know, people are like, well, what about me? You know, even though they got the baby, but what about me? You know, they want to put, right. you know, and 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 are not deliberate about, okay, this child is dependent upon me. This child didn't ask to be here. You know, this child, you know, is my responsibility. But and that's where we, that's where we, this is the fine line. You see where that fine line is drawn. Mm-hmm. That's where we take possession of them and like, you know, well, they're mine. I got to keep, well, here's the thing. You know, this is where we start to idolize them, and it's and it's it's, it's it's hard not to. It's hard not to, but this is where we start to idolize them because you know it's our responsibility. It's mine, 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 mine. We don't understand. You know, God gave them to us. You know, to to steward, to steward, not to not to not to covet. You know, not to covet, and to, but and the steward, and and so you know. Over all these years, you know, I love to say that, you know, I got parenting down, you know, 101, you know, I was perfect parent, you know, 20 years. I tell you what, my children have taught me, you know, even when they were teenagers and they were different people, you know, and because, you know, one we struggle more with and and the one we struggle more with taught me quite a lot, taught me Mm. What the word, you know, when I when I read the word, it was it was a passage that, you know, it was repeated a few times in the Bible, but it was um fathers anger your children not to wrath lest they be discouraged. When I first started mm-hmm. reading that, I was <laughs> I was like, I was like, I don't care if they get discouraged or not. I'm not worried about making them mad, you know, and, and I would mm-hmm. I would toil with God on that one for a while. And then eventually one of my children, you know, I call her my testimony, she, you know. You know, we toiled with her through so many different phases, especially the teenage years was was <laughs> was very was very teenagey. Well, the teenage years was very teenagey, right? And you know, I through that process and and seeing her for how who she is, you know, that particular passage. I mean, I would love to say that when I first read it, I took it. Was, yeah, right. It took some years of God really just you know grinding it into me, you know. You know, anger not your children to wrath, lest they be discouraged. Right. Fathers, fathers, you know, very specific, very specific fathers. I'm like, well, what about y'all? Well, you know, the mother's right. got to not do no, but it says fathers anger your children. And and now I understand that what it is is, you know, in order for us to 
be the fathers that we have to be to our children. We have to be, you know, we have to be grounded. We have to be foundational. We have to be salt. We have to be, you know, we have to be disciplined, but we have to also make sure to not break our children, not push our children past their point, not, not anger our children to wrath, lest they be discouraged that right. part, you know, be discouraged to go out into mm-hmm. the world. You know, I've broken them. So now they can't go out into the world and be functional. You know, yeah, that's I like not that. Our job. Uh, one, that's one thing that you said in in your episode. Um, let's see, you named your the episode. Are we? Are you, are you a deliberate parent? Well, because um, yeah, you <laughs> did. You said um, each individual um, child has a tolerance level. Um, you mentioned that tolerance level. You know, at a certain point, everybody has a breaking point. So you mentioned that each individual child. I mean. Even children, not, you know, humans, I mean, not not humans, but adults, we just automatically say, oh, I can only go so far. Don't push me. Don't push me. But even children, I mean, what that was such a good point, because we do we push them and we push them um, and we, you know, some parents, they expect so much or, you know, no matter what you do, you're not going to I'm not going to be proud of whatever it is. There's only there's a tolerance level. But you said that our job is not to break it break them it's to make them i love that it's not we're not supposed to break them yes we can discipline them and make sure that they they learn less life lessons that you know they're not going to forget they won't soon forget you know but you know but it's not to you know just make them like you said not feel like they even have a place in society how is that productive um you said that you know we're supposed to strengthen them not break them so yeah i i I completely agree with what you said in the podcast and and what you're saying right now as far as that goes yeah, and that's, and it's, it's funny, like you pointed out, it's been almost a year since I made that <laughs> that video. <laughs> and so it just, I mean, even, and I, so I mean, it's really nice that we're starting off with that particular video because it's, it's, it's confirming, you know, because one thing, you know, it's, it's interesting. When I think we all, we can all agree, you know, people say things now and then they say something different later and then they say mm-hmm. something different later and then they keep <laughs> changing their point of view and so forth. And, <laughs> you know, <laughs> the funny thing about me is that you can ask any, Ask anybody that's around closer to me. They're like, oh, no, he ain't changed. <laughs> he, he don't, ch-. you know, I mean, it is, and I guess it's, it's kind of funny, but it just confirms. It confirms, you know, I said what I said then. It bears witness now because what I said even a year ago, shucks, you know, God's been working with me on that for 20 something years, you know, that, <laughs> you know, I said it. So when I, when I, when I say it like even today, I didn't just think this up today. I didn't just right. think this up yesterday. I didn't just think, you know, you know, there's, there's nothing but proof is in the, in, in, in the, in the pudding. If, you know, when I look at, you know, the interesting thing about it is when you watch your children parent, when your children become parents and then you watch them parent and then you can really see, okay, because mm-hmm. a lot of parents, you know, a lot Got of parents it. like, you know, pop their college, you know, I raised my kids good. I raised my kids, you know, we all have a, you know, a, a large amount of guilt. You know, I didn't give my children enough. I didn't get to do enough for them. I didn't get to do enough for them. Only in the past few years, looking at my adult children, and, and, and I'm just talking about like in the past you know, two, three, four years, I've been able to see, I'm like, you know what? We, 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 we didn't parent too bad. I mean, even though it was a, it was a fight and a struggle, we went, we went through so many dips, so many. I mean, we, it was, it, when I look back, I'm like, Okay, maybe. Okay, that de- that deliberate, you know, that deliberate, you know, that deliberateness that that we employed, you know, was was that intentionality, you know, that perfect. The apple doesn't the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, so. It's it's it's, you know, it's but here's it's it was it was funny. Me and my wife, we both we have a a thing, you know, and I say I say it out in public because it's just kind of funny to us. But when it comes to our kids. We we've learned over the years when whenever we you know you talk to somebody you tell them about your kids or whatever oh this one they're doing really good they're really doing really great really great <laughs> we've learned every single time we do that about any one of our kids they turn around and do something ridiculous right, right? <laughs> every single time it's like so we, we, we <laughs> exactly it's like we so we've turned we've learned to kind of kind of take it with a grain of salt you know you know my kids are. Doing, yeah, they're doing all right. They're all right. Because yeah. <laughs> they turn around and do something. <laughs> I mean, but it's just, you know, 
you know, at this at this point, you know, I'm glad that we're able to look back and think about, you know, being a deliberate parent because, you know, when when you're doing it, you're doing it. You're not, you know, you know, I, yeah. ideally, ideally, we'd like to have all the instructions up front, just follow the manual and everything is going to be OK. Right. You know, Where's the manual? Like, <laughs> and every, every every kid comes with their own manual and then that manual like gets lost in the wash like year one or something year two maybe gets lost, lost in the wash it's just I call it the prayer closet <laughs> that that's it that's it I mean these I mean it's 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 very it's very interesting in the curse then I look back you know at how you know my parents parented us you know and I'm like you know it's it's and I look at how deliberate my father was you know, I had to live where my mother was, you know, as long as, because we lost my mother when I was 16, mm. you know, so most, so most of what I've, you know, done in life and, 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 and everything, she wasn't there for, but for the 16 years, she programmed the strength in me that this is, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of funny to see the way that, way that my mother was, I, I could see her in, in this world today, oh my goodness! I she, she would she would she would not be politically correct, you know. It would, you know she would not be politically correct, and 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 I'm like I'm like the the, the amount of strength that mm-hmm. exude, you know, from from these generations before us is is very impressive. And when we when you know, I hold myself to that standard, and once I'm gonna look at, you know, those around me, I look at you know my children. You know, even even today, they would say that I, that I, that I'm I'm probably you know I'm a hard I'm you know we set a high bar. Now we don't consider the high bar because we see where we failed at so many times. Right. You know, and we don't consider it a high bar at all. You know, but the fact of the matter is, is in today's world, we have to we have to we have to you know I guess solve for it to you know to the, the culture of today and not, you know, the, cause I, cause I, I try to, I'm trying not to, you know, say the, you know, um, they're softer than us part because they're not softer than us. They're, no. they're, they're, they're an evolved. evolved version. Evolved. Yes. Yes. Evolved. And you know what? Um, hopefully we can get deeper into this in a later episode because um, I feel like technology and you know I, you know i'm in the field of information technology as are you so back then we didn't have everybody didn't have technology at our fingertips we were told what to do you come home before them light when them lights come on and come on you we had clear algorithms algorithm an algorithm the definition of an algorithm is a set of instructions that are going to make something happen so if you have a lot an arrow on the floor um that's telling you know like you go to the hospital and you follow the arrow that's an algorithm Follow this, it's going to get you there. So we had algorithms, but it had nothing to do with technology. We knew what we were supposed to do. We knew what the consequences would be. But now we've just been given so many choices. You can decide what you want to identify as um, today. I identify as a woman and tomorrow. I mean, there could, society is confused, is causing so much chaos with, oh, everybody's free to do whatever you want. And I'm not saying that people shouldn't be free, but it's actually causing more damage than good i think people instead should just tell people how about you just learn how to love yourself but anyway i would love to get into how things have changed and how it's actually i feel um you know i'm not trying to get you know put out there to dry because you can't mention the word straight at all um but uh yeah it's a uh, society has it's almost like we are attacking ourselves you know, and you know what's interesting is we have to we have to address the the how we get how do we get to talk about these things, you know? Because one thing that we can't we cannot, and this is this I think this right here is where the tipping point is a lot. Uh, we can't we can not not talk about these things, you know. We cannot not talk about you know, when I talk to my when I talk to my children, you know, they're 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 parents now. They're not even children. I don't even call them children. They're 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 are adult children, you know, but mm-hmm. they are parents, they are, they are, you know, they are raising adults, they are raising, you know, children on their own. And the reality of it is, is that, and, and the interesting thing about it is, is every single one of our grandchildren is in a different environment. 
And mm -hmm. of the thir of the thirteen of them, you know, they covered the 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 the. the, the I mean, just from you know, from you know, you know, urban, rural, you know, um, racially. You know, I mean, they're in, in all these different you know um, parts of culture, and so they're seeing and hearing a lot of different information. And the reality of it is, is from you know the the operating system that's you know that's in front of them is is their parents, and so. Right. You know, we have to, you know, the communication about about, OK, you know, you know, boy, girl, you know, um, um, now, you know, people identifying. Oh, the ident let's have the conversation. One day we we'll have to have, really have a conversation about identifying mm -hmm. because that's obviously a new a new um, ideology, you know, identifying, you know, when you know, because when we were growing up, you know, you identified as what you were, you know, you know, you right. know that's what, that's what God made it, you know? That's, and so, but now we have to, so we have to operate in a world that's been so fragmented into mm -hmm. different, you know, ideologies that we have to, you know, we can't, we can't respond in our, in our natural, normal, you know, you know, this is not, no, 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 let's, let's, let's back up. Let's have a seat, you know, because what's happening is there's a, there's a, there's a level, there's an education barrier here. You know, unfortunately, these children have more information than they've ever had. And, you know, they, they've been in, inundated with more information and access to more information than in human history. Mm -hmm. But what what that what, what that has done is, you know, even, you know, from our generation on, there's a big education gap of, OK, this is this is, you know, how this is how you happen. Like basically like like you're. Your ancestry, you know, what I'm saying everybody wants to, you know, go back and find out. Oh, they originated here, but the people that lived, the people that walked, the people that went this, you know, took this, you know, walked this thousand miles to get here, that made, you know, this place where you were born, you know, that's a story mm -hmm. that you need to know about. And when you, you look, when you look back at those people, you know, they didn't have the opportunity, the option to, you know, well, I identify. As, guess what? They, they're identifying as living. They're identifying as trying to stay alive. They're identifying right. as trying to, you know, raise children, raise a family, you know, not get eaten by a bear. You know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, they're identifying as That's living. That's such a good point. That's such a good point. How <laughs> back then it wasn't even something that would even be the subject. What are you talking about? Watch out. <laughs> <They're fine. laughs> That's a good point. We have too much. We have we have. You get this child and you set them in front of a whole bunch of different paths. I mean, let's just go to it. forever since I've been. You couldn't buy a pack of cigarettes till you were 18. Now it's 21. You know why? Because they say that child, that a brain does not develop fully until you're 21. So if you're taking a child and you're putting all these paths in their way and at the point of that path is a laptop, Google, whatever uh -huh. you want to do. So we're just giving we're. It's fine if somebody, you know, anybody that's watching this, if you identify whatever, that's fine. Hopefully um, you can pick that and stick with it because we only get one life. That is a fact. No one has beaten death. No one. Um, but we get one life. So um, I just personally, I just go what, you know, whatever the doctor said when I was born. And um, <laughs> it's, it's been difficult enough for me. Go, you know, just saying, okay, this is where I'm gonna go. So whatever anybody wants to do, I'm not to judge. There's only one judge. Um, whatever anybody wants to do, that's their business. But if you want to be successful, if anyone wants to be successful, there has to be one path. Whatever it is, you know, because you know, you're getting you're getting these children. Let's get back to deliberate parenting because we're getting parents that are allowing their children. Oh, Billy said that he's a girl, you know, and so then they go and no, I'm sorry. I was watching a video where it was a girl wanted to be a boy. So they went and had her like become a boy. Then she changed her mind. So now because, you know, that's what kids do. They change their mind. The brain is not developed fully. So um, her mother was giving her testosterone against the doctor's orders so she went and got it so she helped her child because that's what her child wanted you know so if i would just say that if you can't buy a pack of cigarettes until you're 21 then you shouldn't be able to make any choices like that but again not my, my well, not my decision well, but my children 
you can that's you can and that's the it. thing when it comes to the children because when especially when you have grandchildren you have a different perspective as well because now you know it's like they came from here but i don't really have the exact same say that i had when it was my children you know mm -hmm. so you have a you have a you have a distancing but you still you have a you have an influence but you have a distancing i mean it's a great pleasure i mean being a grandparent is, I, I mean i'll tell you what I was like, let's jump straight to that part. That would have been awesome. But, you know. <laughs> we'll but, see y'all next time. I tell you, it's so much, it's so much fun. And, and it actually is so much fun because now you get to mm -hmm. sit back and, and you get to Enjoy listen it. to them parent. And, it's, and, it's, and, it's, and it's, it's hilarious a lot of times. But it what it does, though, is makes you have to say, well, and you have to step back. And now you have to look at a broader view of mm. the world. In, in the context of your children, these children that you had to protect, you know, for so long, for so it was your it was your job to make sure that they didn't get eaten by that bear, you know, right. that period, period for so long that when you do that for so long, you know, and then you finally, you know, give them over to the, you know, to mm -hmm. the world and to themselves, you know, and, and lay them in God's hands and say, okay, I trust you with them, you know, I'm I'm off duty now. Now you have to stand back and, because you because you still never right. stop parenting. Now you become a counselor. Yeah, now you become a counselor. Now you become <laughs> you become a you become a counselor and and you become a you know a a, a you know a coach. Now you become a mm -hmm. coach and a counselor to where you know you know I'm always here for you. You know whenever you need me, then they and they know that and they they pull the trigger. Some more than others. Some will call you every day. Some will call you once every six months. You know, but. You know, but you're here for them, but you have to look at it from a wider view. And so now mm -hmm. you have to look at the whole rest of the world, you know, because before you just had to look at this house, you know, just what's going on in this house around here. Uh, that's it. Right. Now you got to look at the whole world. You know, you got to look at the whole world. for you. Um, yeah. Because you, you answered, I had a question for you. We were talking about, you know, being a grandparent, because I haven't gotten to that. I've got children that are old enough to have children, so I can be here shortly, could have been. But, okay, um, you said you were going to be a coach, because I was going to ask you, how does that work? Because you're still a parent. So you're even though they have children, you know, you're looking at them. Sometimes you want to give advice. How do you do that? Because you did say, I was going to ask you, where, what is your role now? And so you said coach, counselor. So let's just say um, you see something. Do you not say anything at all? Or do you say, Z, what do you do? You can't pre-program your responses. <laughs> you can only pre-program your preparedness, you know. Mm -hmm. And so... With 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 that being said, you know, you can only, you know, you know, life is going to happen that much. You know mm -hmm. what's going to happen. You have no clue. But, you you know, you, you, you coach them all the way through the process. OK, you know, mom, dad, you know, I'm about to have a baby. OK, you know, how how you doing? OK, you know, you say, you know, you just do what you do the, with the natural part first. You know, the natural part, you know, because you're still their parent. You know, OK, mm -hmm. well, you know, you do as much as you feel that you know you've raised this human being so you know their you know their you know their buttons you know you know how they operate you know how they operate better than they know how to operate no matter what they think <laughs> because <laughs> you've been there the whole time they just got here you know <laughs> so but and so you just do what's natural at that point and then as they you know go through the you know and have the children and then you know then once that child comes you know and then you know for the first i mean i, I never would have thought you know I assumed, you know, because our generation, you know, when we had kids, you know, we took them home and we that was our responsibility. Well, our children, every one of them struggled initially with parenting, you know, and, and, and you know, we didn't realize that was going to happen. I mean, I don't know if this happened to other people, but I know every one of our children and they're all awesome people. We're like, you know, one day they're all going to make great parents, you know, is what we're saying, right. you know, because they're awesome people and they love kids. And but they all struggled initially, you know, once they became right. parents, they struggled. And so we had, to, you know, walk through it with them. So for the first right. you know, year or two, you know, of, 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 of you know, the, the grandchildren's lives, they, you know, we had to walk with them through it. But it's what's interesting okay. is this was the first set of grandchildren because we have grandchildren that are that are teenagers. And now we have we have a younger set that are from from, you know, range from 15. seven all the way from. We have some that are range from seven all the way down to one, you know. Ooh. And so, the 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 younger ones now are being parented with a with a, a 
a higher degree of understanding from these same sad parents because mm -hmm. now they've had experience. And so right. now, you know, we don't have to tap in like that. Now they don't have to call us about everything. And they don't. They won't call they already us about know what to do with the one year old. Right. They already know. That's, that's it. I mean, and, and they've, they've had enough experience now. You know, they've had enough experience to where now, you know, now we're just, you know, we're, we're there for support whenever. But the more functional that they are, the less that they need us. But so it's, 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 it's levels. You know, it's not a, just a one and done. Just like it's, it's, it's a phase. It's just a mm -hmm. phase of life. You know, and that's the thing to, to remember before this thing cuts off on me is oh, it's just a phase of life. You know, and so we're going through all these different phases in our in our in our in our life journey. And that's what's right. best to understand, you know, this this phase of, of the, the, the parent um, child dynamic has shifted and it's going to elevate. And I can say even more now, you know, especially dealing with like my father.